Oh, don't tell me. You have to die when you're here. Oh, that is... That is just... Oh, that is toxic. That's a death trap. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 14 of Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, and uh, look what I see down there. I see everything we need. Just randomly here, in this one little area. There's the gems, and boom, the Dragonfly, Atsumi. Right on, brother. Now we need to... Wait, how do we get out of here, though? Uh, game? You do realize that you're supposed to give me a way out of here, right? Oh, don't tell me. You have to die when you're here. Oh, that is... That is just... Oh, that is toxic. That's a death trap. Okay, so... Now we should be able to go and get the very last dragonfly, other than the one that, you know, the wizard one that was just annoying. We should be able to get it from the final one. There's only two checkpoints in this entire level. One not two, like one in that whirlwind room, and then one here. Which in my opinion is once again bad level design, considering how long these levels are in comparison to other Spyro games, despite them also having like quadruple the amount of checkpoints like most spiral levels have like what at least four checkpoints this game not so much now i can just take this way because it's the quicker way this is actually how i found it i went down here and then i grabbed this whirlwind and it brought me up which then allowed me to see a basket which then allowed me to get the gems which then allowed me to get the dragonfly that's a lot of allowance allowances i guess now, let's see if this guy gives me the dragonfly. Hello, buddy. Give me the dragonfly. Thanks, Dick. Oh, now he says it. I thought he was going to say the same thing. We got Mickey. Hey, it's Mickey. All right, now we can just leave the level, though. I really wish the exit portals would look different than the challenge portals. They, they do in every other game, so I don't know. There's the last six gems we needed to get a total of 6,400. Now we get to go to a level that I don't know if I've ever... I think I 100%ed it once. The next world or level is kind of a booty munch of a level. Like, it's interesting, but I remember there being a lot of unfair things, and this is where the game gets really, really buggy and likes to freeze. So, we gotta go back down here. <clears throat> also, yeah, I forgot. It shows you that every time you come here that you've got everything. Also, the gem doesn't even keep rotating when it shows it on screen like that. It literally just, like, bugs out and kind of, like, goes back and forth. Oh, well, let's talk to this guy again. Okay, it didn't bug. And now we can take this weird ball... Don't tell me I'm inside the ball, instead of just, like, getting sent through a teleporter. Oh my god, I'm wing shielding through a weird ball of death. Now this level only has 600 gems. Yeah, there's only 7,000 7, gems in this game. Spiral 1 had, what, 12,000 or 14,000? I can't remember how much it is, like, once you beat Nasty's loot. You guys can go back and check that episode out on the channel, though. But, um, yeah, it's kind of weird that... The levels progressively, they get bigger, and then they go down. Like, the halfway point is way... Of course. I'm gonna uh, see you guys back in a second, because clearly the game froze like it likes to. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, so after rebooting the game, we made it back here, so that's good. Also, that looks like a breakable wall. And it's not a breakable wall. Of course it is. Anyways, let's talk to Professor Moose. I know it's a mouse. Aha, Spyro! The R1000 and the TRX 1000s have escaped from their inescapable cages and are running amok through the jungle. Please stop them before they destroy the rest of the science labs and all of our research. Why do no I want to help problem. you? But say, 
What's a R1000 something something? Oh, well, to put it in simplified terms that even a dragon can understand, they're mechanically enhanced nanotech propulsion oriented guitars, which uh, we've been working on here in our labs. Uh, quite the state of the art, I might add. Oh, really? And how exactly would I go about destroying these things? Well, we did find a flaw in the R1000 models when they were uh, exposed to sub-zero temperatures. Perhaps that information will come in useful. <laughs> no problem. I have just the right breath to chill them out. Great! On the other hand, the T-Rex 1000s are quite vulnerable to electricity. Yet we've not been able to get close enough to them to zap them with an electrical charge. Oh, great. So, these ones are weak to ice, I'm assuming? So, like, one is a prehistoric version, and, ow, the other is... Okay, this is gonna be annoying, because it's gonna require you to cycle through your breath a lot, and this game, unlike A Hero's Tale, doesn't have a very good breath cycle option. Like, now that we're on electric, we're gonna have to go through bubble and fire again, because why not? And, like I said, there's only 600 gems here, so we don't need to look at this. Obviously, 10 dragonflies. I actually don't remember this level too much. Like, it looks cooler than I remember. This electricity, though, <clears throat> is a little, uh, graining on the ears. That That's for certain. Well, thank you for my health back. Looks like we got an electric breath enemy to deal with over there. Also, some lava. Uh, okay. Oh, and we got some falling platforms that make no sound. Very intriguing. Alright, you're dead. Thank you for the gem. And of course, they give us small... Wait, there's actually big gems in the chest. It's actually at the beginning of the level. So what's with the loon? Do you hear the loon in the background? So what's with the tall grass? Like, if you weren't gonna hide anything in it, what, what what's the point of the tall grass? It just feels out of place. Is it meant to hide the treasure chest that's so very clearly out in the open? I don't know. excuse -a me Should've probably ate something before recording, too, but nope. Look at me, being dumb again. And this is, like, my third episode already, so we've been recording for over an hour. Alright, where does that lava shoot to? Does it actually hit this platform? Does the platform sink? Is there anything on the other side of these uh, ledges? Yes, there is. I seen these gems over here. You can't tell me that you only put three gems over here, though. That seems like a cop-out, man. Okay, it would be really dirty to have like one side be gems and the other side be like a death trap, you know? Um, okay, that was weird. The camera angle had broke there for a second. Luckily, it seems like we deal with these guys a lot more than we deal with the uh, smaller versions, the R1000s instead of the T-Rex 1000s. Oh, I get it. Those are just like burps in the lava that are supposed to hurt you. Okay. Not really much of a challenge. Also, any secret doors or anything? I don't think so. Also, there's already another scientist, so I'm kind of intrigued to know about what he has to say after we, uh... Never mind. Kids, still fresh three days. They're following us! It's Spyro! I've been studying this temple, and it's quite fascinating! Oh yeah? How so? Well, I believe that these strange drawings on the walls are a clue to something hidden away in this temple. But I can't quite decipher them yet. <laughs> yes, and from what I have been able to decipher, it seems that the gems on the statues inside react to heat. Perhaps you can figure out the rest, Spyro. Hmm. Oh, now we got the ice ones again. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can kill them with other breaths too, right? Or can you charge them? You can just charge them. I don't know why you would 
Okay, I'm just gonna stay on electric breath, and then that's it. Like, why would I ever need to... I think they meant for it to actually not allow you to kill him that way, but there's a lot of bugs in this game. Like I said, you could even go through the ice fence without ice breath. Like, that's just how buggy this game is. And I showed you guys you could do it too. Alright, so these gems, apparently, I'm assuming these ones, the ones on these statues, are what react to heat signatures. I Now, I don't remember if it's actually for a puzzle, or if it's actually just part of beating the level normally. So, we gotta switch back to Fire Breath. Okay, we got the red one. We got the blue one. Oh, no, never mind. Let's see. Okay, we gotta figure out which order the- Oh, wait a minute! I know what they are. It's based off of the color of normal gems. So, it would go green. So, red, green, blue, yellow, purple. So, clearly, they did know that purple gems were supposed to be 25, but for some reason, they colored them... Wait, what? Okay, I had it right until I hit the... Weird, so was purple supposed to be 10? I don't know, that's kind of odd. Because we had it right until we hit, um... Until we hit that gold one, so it has to be the purple one. Which is really weird, because that's out of order, but sure. There we go. It's a dragonfly. Well, anyways, first dragonfly of the level already, Scarlet. Hey, it's Scarlet. Nice. Um, Sparks, that's nice to see you there too, buddy, but uh, please refrain from hogging up the screen next time. That's actually my niece's name, which is kind of funny. It's also, you know. Uh, anyways, let's see... I don't know what's going on about. I kind of got lost in thought there for a second. There's another dragonfly already? Like, why is there another dragonfly already? We literally had just got one, and now there's another one already? This game, I tell you, they like putting the dragonflies, like, right next to each other. Can't remember, does this level have a slide? Doompa? How do you go from a name like Scarlet to Doompa? Like, that makes no sense. This game's name choicing is so weird. Like, at least in Spyro 1 and 3, the name choices they gave, like, the, uh, the characters that you have to free slash help, at least they made sense. Also, I feel like there's gonna be, yep, gems on- wait a second, I see that over there. These platforms also have gems, and there's the key! We can go back and get the chest already! Now, do those ones over there have gems too? I don't think these ones have gems. Oh, no they do. I see the green one on that one statue. So what we'll do is we'll go back and grab the uh, chest, and that'll be our third dragonfly already. I don't remember this level being as simple as this, honestly. I really feel like this one's harder. There's gotta be a challenge here, right, that's difficult? Because that's a big chunk of the gems already. Because we get to... what? 7,000? Actually, I guess it's not really that big of a chunk of gems. I love how I'm kind of like, cheesing the... like, these... attacks from the, the fireballs just really don't do much. They're kind of just there, you know? Now, the chest was just over here. And now we can go and get this dragonfly. Let's see who we got in this chest. Right on. Cool, cool bro. It's Jean Marc. Hey, it's Jean Marc. How do we go from a name like Doompa to Jean Marc, which is like French? Like what? Okay. If anybody's named Doompa out there, let me know, because I want to know if that's a real name now, or if Spyros is pulling names out of their butt. Because that's a weird name, like, let's be real. I love how, too, we haven't... I was going to say, I haven't taken any damage since... Oh my god. Since the very beginning of the level, we got hit by the one Raptor, or one T-Rex, but... Uh, now I know there was a lizard around here on the bottom half of this level. There he is. 
Thank you. Hey, they have the same sound effect as the lizards from Midnight Mountain in Spiral 3. That's kind of interesting to know. Also, this music is kind of like a remixed version of, of uh, Magma Cone from Spyro 2. So, I think they did have a lot of the assets and stuff they needed from the other Spyro games. It's just because they couldn't agree on anything, and then they all went bankrupt and everything that... You know, things became... Bad. Also, like, why would you have multiple gems and stuff down here if... It's, like... Like, why did you design the level? Also, you know what ability you never need to use? Your head bash ability, this one. Why do you never have to use this? Like, why even include it in the game if it's not even going to be an ability that ever, you know, finds use? Seems kind of like a cop-out. Also, I think this is our first checkpoint, right? Okay, I'm still on electric breath. I have no idea how that hit. I'll take it. Also, is this literally just a bridge over a volcano with one enemy? Literally nothing else, and also apparently you can get... Stuck on that! Oh my God, the hitbox on that bridge is just bad. Okay, anything going on around here? I'm surprised that didn't pop up and hit me when I was there. I feel like I missed a gem. Nope, never mind. There's another rip talk over by the bridge again. Also, why do we only have to kill the uh, green ones? And not the robot ones. Why is that not part of the challenge? Also, this looks like either it's... I think that's back down below with uh, where we were. Wait, no it's not. That's actually an entirely new area with a challenge portal and everything. Oh. Whoa, the bridges in this game are not uh, user-friendly. Holy cow. So I guess we can go down there, because there is stuff down here. Like... For example, over here, there's a bunch of vases, and then there's some kind of like little challenge portal on the ground. Which means, yet again, another dragonfly. That'll be our, what, our fourth one already? We're actually finding blue gems for once, which is something that this game very rarely does. Luau Island was one of the very few in the game that actually had lots of blue and gold gems, including 25 gold gems. Which still make no sense, but we got that challenge portal. I think there's a slide in this world, and that might be it. Or I'm just going crazy and pulling challenges out of my butt again. But I knew that there was a speedway in the last level, so I, I remember some of this game. I used to watch a lot of Let's Plays. That's also another electric portal challenge, or uh, electric challenge, so... Alright, there's always eight. Also, this place seems kind of empty and barren. Like, I get it's for this challenge and everything, but it still seems like it's a little too empty. Also, the fact that if you put two dragonflies, at least there could be a third one in that challenge, depending on how... If they put... If that's, like, the two uh, dragonfly challenge portal or a one. Also, this is supposed to be a challenge, really? I'll take it, though. Super easy. So, anyways, let's see who we got. Karen. Hey, it's Karen. From Jean-Marc to Karen. Yay. We're actually getting a lot of progress done in this level rapidly. This this series might only be one more episode and then we're done the entire game. We have 351 out of 600, so yeah, we're more than halfway. And we have, what, four dragonflies out of ten? My calculations indicate that this volcano is about to explode. Slide down to the bottom before it's too late, and don't worry about me. Save yourself. Slide down. Okay, I knew there was a slide here. I wasn't going crazy. Okay, the music here. That's actually pretty catchy. I honestly don't remember the slide though. I like I like I said, I remember that there was a slide, but I don't remember the the level at all. Man, this is this is good music though. If this was the music for the level, it wouldn't be so bad. I think it's supposed to be intense because it's a volcano erupting, but you know. Also, you do realize that a boulder wouldn't be rolling back and forth like that on such a steep cliff. 
Oh, I didn't see that little edge there. You almost made it. Did I almost make it? I don't know if I did. Just, I don't think I did. At least I get to listen to this music for a little bit longer. Man, we're gonna have this level more than halfway done. Well, actually, probably about halfway, because dragonflies count way more towards progress than gems do. That's like any Spyro game, though. Like, a, a level in Spyro generally goes off of the other collectibles, not the gems for total. I think gems are like 60, or like 40% uh, level, while everything else is like 60 or something like that. I forget how it works. Goodbye, Mr. Boulder. Now let's not be stupid and mess up just because, uh, I was having fun, you know? Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, actually, this doesn't look too bad now that I think about it. Also, how is this even a slide at this point? It's like, we shouldn't be ha gaining this much momentum. Whoa. I think if you hit anything, you're doomed, right? I think? I don't even know. Oh, lordy dordy, this is getting intense. The music doesn't help, though, with the intensity situation. When we see a long path like, like pathway like this, it always feels like this is like the end. And, ooh. But it's not. Not in this one. I'm pretty sure this is the longest slide in the game. Well, considering the Monkey Monastery one, I think it's the shortest because it's like a, a challenge. I think I took the wrong way. I feel like I was supposed to go to the left, not the right, because I think the jumps were too uh, close. I have to push up my glasses. I hate wearing glasses sometimes. It'd be nice to be able to be like my father, for example, which he doesn't actually have to wear his glasses when playing on his computer or whatever he does. Because he's nearsighted, so he can see up close. I'm farsighted, so I have to have my glasses on to see close. Plus, I have a lazy eye, which doesn't help, and that causes other issues with things. Luckily, though, my prescription seems to have gotten better over time. Also, that boulder's pattern is always in a different spot every time I'm here. It kind of reminds me of, um, remember that minecart level, or section, I guess it was technically its own mini level, in A Hero's Tale that we had to do? You know, if the game had slowdown right about now, that'd be nice. I could see slowdown helping me, but for whatever reason, with all this stuff going on screen, there's absolutely no slowdown whatsoever. Wait a second, what's this way? Oh, it was a shortcut! Okay. I think it avoided that whole narrow pathway thing, did it? Or is this the narrow pathway coming up? I don't know, but I feel like that was- Oh no, here's the narrow pathway. Also, where's my cool music again? Okay, it's still pretty epic, but not as good as it was. Come on, epic music, come back. There we go. Yeah. Now we're in- Oh yeah, this way has longer platforms. Ah, I see. Oh, I was gonna say, did we die right at the ending? Woo! We did die pretty much at the ending. We did it! You made it just in time, Spyro! Here, I found a dragonfly on my way down! Saji! Hey, it's Saji! It sounded like you said Saji. It seems as if the volcano has stabilized. Wanna try sliding down it again? No. Why would I want to go sliding down it again? Like, it was fun. Like, don't get me wrong. I remember that being way more difficult. I remember this level being more difficult. Oh, and I don't think it was difficult. I just think no matter what version you were playing, this level always broke the game, so it just deterred you from playing. It's like, why do you want to continue playing a game if it freezes every five seconds in this world? And then you have to reboot it, then, you know, just skipping to the final boss. Because, technically, you can beat the final boss before you even go to Thieves' Den, so... Yeah, anyways, we now have this part done. We'll probably do a little more exploring and then call it an episode. Because we have five of the... We have five of the dragonflies, so let's see on our atlas here. Yeah, we have five and over half the gems. We have the Gem Statue, Lightning Challenge, Locked in a Chest, Inside the Temple, and Lava Slide. One of those is going to be defeating all the Riptox, obviously the first one. And then the bottom one I'm assuming is another challenge. And I'm going to say there's about two more just laying around. There's a lot that usually just lie around in these levels. 
Also, as a kid, I didn't know that the ladder was over here. Like, you wouldn't expect to be over here. Am I still in uh, lightning breath? No, it automatically brings you back to flame breath for whatever reason. Oh yeah, we already defeated you, so you're just here. This is the one that we need to defeat still, which this time actually has like an, a real obstacle. I seen that coming because we kind of like had our jump stunted. Oh, I think now we're getting to the BS part of the level, right? Yeah, this part. This part does not look fun at all. Actually, not too bad. These platforms, even though they're wobbly... Wait, why would I ever take the second platform? Unless this is to get back up, because... It doesn't really look like we needed to go down here. And there's nothing down there. So... I guess we'll just continue on. When are we going to find more of the uh, green Riptox? We've only found the uh, the T-Rexes. Wait a second. Uh oh. Don't do cracks in the wall. We also found another Zoe already. That's pretty good. Oh, there we go. There's one. I guess there's only five left, and most of them look like they're in here. And there's another challenge portal thing down there. Sheesh, man. Talk about everything being in one, one part of the level. But I guess technically it's supposed to take place in the volcano, not the uh, jungle, despite the jungle being in, in the name of the level. Sorry, sir, but you gotta die before you electrocute me in return. Spyro Sun doesn't like to be uh, electrocuted. Also, wouldn't anything be susceptible to the cold? Also, they don't really seem to attack very well. They don't really seem to do too much. Also, that looks like the way we're supposed to go. Also, do you just have two gold gems right here? Those were 25s! Holy cow! Haven't seen them in a while, and the game's just like, here, we'll, we'll give you a bunch right away. Oh, we're talking to him, I see. Um, hello? Oh, um, uh, here's Spyro. Say, I, I don't suppose you could help me get my equipment back. See? Oh. Yeah, 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 I'm not gonna go through all this. These guys talk way too much. It's just an invincibility, uh, uh, power-up. That, that, they've been in... They're, like, in every Spyro game. Like, let's be real here. And so what you need to do is now you need to kill these guys. Oh, wait. I believe you need Ice Breath for them, right? I said Ice Breath game. Yeah, I need Ice Breath. And then you can just go and recharge it here immediately. Oh yeah, and then you gotta do that. Oh yeah, there's also this guy. So there's, once again, two more dragonflies kind of just smack dab in the same area. We'll grab you before we grab the equipment. That's that's for certain. And then we'll probably end the episode here, and then probably in the next episode we'll finish the, the game. Oh my god, get back here! There we go! Mitch! Hey, it's Mitch! Yeah, because we've been recording for 27 minutes for this video, so that's a thing. I actually don't even notice, or didn't even check how many of the, um, things we needed. Uh, here's one. They're like, they're like polymorphic raptor lizard guy persons. Also, I really wish there was like a, an, oh, there's five more of these things, really? I really wish there was like a, a an indicator on Spyro's body saying that he, uh, is invincible like he would glow a different color in the other games I don't know why in this game he doesn't so let's kill multiple of these guys here and then grab the um, the potions I love how it's supposed to be lab equipment but it doesn't look like lab equipment you know it just straight up looks like um, potions vials like I don't see that being lab equipment it looks like you have these magical formula or do they just steal the thing that makes them you know also I don't want to I want to have as much time as humanly possible, not any less time than I normally would. Oh, there's another one right here, which means there's only one left after this. So we'll go back, grab this potion, grab that one that we did. What I don't like is they do an animation. Uh, wait a second, where'd the other potion? Wait. 
it grabbed the other potion, by the way. It didn't grab the, the, the first one. It grabbed the second one from... That was across from me. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on. Uh, where's this last Riptok, by the way? At least I think they're Riptoks. They're more like alchemic beings, but... You know, whatever floats your boat, I guess. This place is actually pretty big down here, despite only having a few enemies to deal with. Wait, where are they? Are you... Oh, wait a minute. There's an entire river down that way? Maybe it's down the river. Or is that just death? I don't even know. But that's where we're going to go check out. Because that seems like a valid place to go and look for something. Right? Right? Oh, there he is! Oh! It's also the other challenge portal! Wait, where'd the potion go? There it is. Alright, so now we can go return his potions to him, but... We also found this area, which is another challenge portal. Interesting. So I wonder what it is. Probably another platforming challenge, maybe another shooty shoot em challenge. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon links below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye